God, I'm getting diabetes looking at it. When I was a kid, that would have been a dream. It's more like a nightmare now. James, I'm coming back from a weekend in McKinney, Texas. I started out Friday, was going to try and shoot uh, some kind of little video before I got to McKinney. What I was going to do ended up kind of not really working. I tried something else that didn't really work either. So what I ended up doing was just taking you along with me over the course of the weekend. So. Spend the weekend with me in McKinney. Hopefully, I, I have no idea how I'm going to be able to put uh, edit this together and not make it uh, 10 hours long. But hopefully, I can shave it down where it's palatable and, and get something from all three days. And uh, well, I'll just leave that at that. <laughs> Kenny, Texas, and it is cold. Came here for work. It was supposed to be a three-day weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, for various reasons. I just didn't. You know, I get, it breaks down. I just didn't get here in time on Friday. So I'm not going to bother setting up for Friday. So I'm standing here in the the, wall, the parking lot of the lovely Walmart in McKinney, uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with the day. Now check this out. Uh, so that's the Clark Kent, and that's the Superman. If I could confuse the hell out of some people if I got that. The thing is, I don't really know my way around McKinney. I can't check into my room until four o'clock. It is like 10.30 now. <laughs> so I got a lot of time to kill. It's even too early to go to a movie, but found this place just down the road. And look, Shayna, it's Tuesday morning. Well, I didn't expect that. I could use a new lunchbox, you know. Star Wars or... I'm not sure what that is. So bad. <laughs> oh, look, that's a little bitty one. You put a sandwich in there. They have a Kevin the Fam canister in here. The old stain. is being defined. Okay, here's, here's the thing, you gotta press dangerously close to his... Orders received. I bet your orders are received to get that close to your stormtrooper junk and they'll say whatever you want. That's enough out of you. They just have Star Wars stuff like randomly placed throughout the store apparently. It's just... Oh look, glassware and vases and hey, a Darth Vader little mini lunchbox. Now see, I'm just... I'm finding stuff for everybody here. Douglas would probably like that. Got the, the Coca-Cola on the side. Put a lot of cookies in there. 
Well, I guess it's a it's a tea caddy, but it's it's for whatever you want to put in it. It could be a it could be a cookie caddy. There's another one. Oop! Lid came right off of that one. filled with stuff that I'm not the least bit interested in. Yeah. Somebody stopped me. Which, you know, eh. sparkle like a diamond. And then all of a sudden you get Eric Clapton in concert. I would actually hang that up on my wall. I wonder if that was an actual concert. November 13th, 1988. And it's back to birds on a wire. Not to say these aren't nice, it's just not really my thing. Quite an incredible amount of luggage. I really did, didn't expect that. So I wasn't sure what Tuesday mornings had. The only Tuesday mornings experience I've had is uh, Shana, Shana Katopia's haul video. I'd never even heard of the place before, and then lo and behold, here I am standing in one. Now look at that. You mean I could have cheated? Those are all good ones. It's the Deborah Hayes shelf. My God, look at all the coffee. Not being said, I think I'm going to hop into the Plaza Thrift here. I would kind of like to look around and see if I can find a, uh, a jacket. Lots of thrift. Alright, that might be the worst thrift store I've ever been in in my life. It was 95% closed. They had nothing marked hardly. It's not like they had a men's section, a women's section, anything like that. They were just kind of out there. There was one part of it that was kind of interesting. Of course, that's where everybody was at. So. Okay, I give up. Uh, you know, McKinney was voted as one of the uh, top places in the country to live a couple of years ago. I think the number one place to live in the country. Can't remember who determined that, but... Yeah, might be nice in the summer. <laughs> there, there's some neat stuff here, but it's all outdoor stuff. It's not really anything you can do, and it's 40 degrees, and the wind's blowing, and there's a wind chill factor of like 20 or 15 or whatever it is right now. So uh, I'm going to be breaking down and watching a movie. I may end up having to watch two because that little thrift store Tuesday morning thing killed zero time. Anyway, uh, pick out your favorite. See if you can guess what I go see. I'll, I'll give you a hint. It's probably not going to be Pitch Perfect 3. Bumper. Okay. You'll never know I was gone.
see it, don't you? Yeah, usually October, November, December, those are our big months for me. And 2017, October was horrible. November was okay, December was okay. It just wasn't the big boom that, uh, that I was hoping for and kind of needed. But things are a lot more stable now. Uh, especially since I got in here at McKinney. I have no idea what kind of view you guys are getting. Uh, so now it's, uh, I'm wait, kind of waiting on tax time. I gotta get through the February, I, it, I don't know how it's going to go. Like I say, it's, it's very dependent on the weather as well. If I can get to March, I should be doing okay. The last time I got here on a Saturday, they tell you not to park on the roads. And got right down there to my, my spot, and there's somebody parked on the road. So hopefully I got here early enough. Maybe I'll get here before she does. I can go ahead and get in my, my spot. I kind of figure with it being as cold as it is, there's not anybody that's going to be in any big hurry to get here. Like I said, I came in the Jeep this time, so I got a little bit more room. So yeah, this opening right here, half of that is mine. <laughs> As a matter of fact, I may back up and see if I can angle back this way a little bit. But take a good look at it. That's where all my stuff is going to be here in a minute. I'll give you a look at the morning sky here in McKinney. Clouds look a little, a little dark. The forecast didn't say anything about rain. So hopefully all that will clear off by the time we actually get going. Yeah, I'm making some price tags for some of it. I got everything out. Those crosses are not supposed to be here. I grabbed the wrong tub. That's supposed to be motorcycles and stuff like that. Motorcycle sold real well here last month. Crosses did not. I grabbed a wrong tub, so at least I see how it goes. But this is the setup for McKinney. And uh, as you can see, I don't have nearly the room I have at Second Monday. But uh, funny thing is, I do just as well here. I'm just gonna set this up here and.
¿Cómo es todo? Ay, no hay otra hora. Ok, that was a little over 15 minutes, I think. Check real quick. Yeah, 16 minutes. And it was the most, <clears throat> most exciting 16 minutes I've had in the three or four hours that I've been here. Well, it's a little after noon, about 12.20, I think. And a kid came through and bought a dollar's worth of football cards. And that has been it. It's turning into a rather miserable day. I'm going to ride out the next uh, five hours and see how it goes. Uh, kids, that sucked. <laughs> Ain't no two ways about it. Uh, from, what was it, about 7 a.m. Uh, Saturday morning, it's 5.34 now is when I'm leaving. I sold two football cards and a replica Dallas Star Stanley Cup ring. $36 is what I made today. Okay, just uh, on the lighter moments for a minute. I did pick up a, a deal of these. In Jelly Belly, 40 different flavors. When it comes to the uh, buttered popcorn or the rotten egg selection, I'm not so sure there's much difference because they have buttered popcorn in this and it tastes horrible. If that's the buttered popcorn they're getting somebody they, they need to send that boy somewhere to get different buttered popcorn because that ain't no buttered popcorn I ever tasted. Okay. Still pretty early. Things, uh, what time is this? 6.51. Last day here. We got one more day to set up. And it's back home. I've got Hungry Eyes by Patrick Swayze stuck in my head for some reason. Not quite sure where that's coming from. I said this was a pilot. It's not a pilot, it's a racetrack. Decided to take the slightly shorter route of uh, and skip the QT. All right, you'll never know I was gone. There's the setup I'm trying today. And maybe things will go a little bit better. Did you ever encounter somebody who was I don't know how to put it. Pleasant bitch. <laughs> There's another vendor out here that just about got me to the point of smacking her upside the head. May happen yet. <laughs> Had to shut it down suddenly earlier because this guy started playing the radio 
And I didn't want to get the copyright claim. Uh, it has picked up a little bit. It's it's better than yesterday, which ain't saying much. I guess the one good thing I can say about weekends like this, I think maybe with fewer vendors here, you kind of stand out a little bit more. And so it is easier for the people who are here to find you, and it may lead to some regular customers down the road. 252. Okay. So, about another hour and a half, I'm going to start packing up. Probably, hopefully, be out of here by 5 o'clock. That's not likely to happen. But it's been one of those weird weekends. One of those where I've had a dozen people say, Oh, I'm, I want to get that, but we're going to walk around for a little bit. We'll be back. And then, of course, they don't come back. Uh... This one, this one woman walks up, starts digging through these little class bracelets I've got, and I've got them for the the Cowboys, Rangers, uh, Longhorn Sooners, and the Texas Tech Red Raiders. She's digging through them, digging through them, trying to find Red Raiders. Well, Red Raiders, what I'm looking for? Red Raiders. Uh, finally, finds the Red Raiders. Okay, there it is. Looks at it, drops it down on top, walks off. And they're like, "What the hell?" Were you were you doing? Were you just wanting to confirm that I had them, or was? Ah, it's just weird. It's, 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 it's been a weird weekend. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> well, that's the end of my working weekend. It did not go particularly well. Uh, it's kind of odd, you know. Second Monday. I think would generally be considered the uh, lesser of the of the markets. And again, if I said this already, sorry, I don't I don't remember I don't know I don't know exactly how I'm going to edit this together. So I don't know if I've already said said it on the video or not. But, uh, I did okay at Second Monday, Saturday anyway. Sunday was horrible. Saturday was, you know, was, uh, was, there was a little something there. And so I thought, well, if I did that at Second Monday, McKinney, which is a bigger market, more people, and the weather really wasn't any worse, I should, I should, you know, do a little something. And I got here, and good grief, it was, Saturday was just absolutely horrible. I came away with a little bit on Sunday. Anyway, yeah, that's uh, that was my weekend. Hopefully, I can manage to piece this together and make it somewhat entertaining. I uh, hope you I hope you got something out of this anyway. Uh, if you're new, please like and subscribe. Check out some of the other videos. Watching, and I will see you next time.